click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the colors of the transition metal ions and now in this topic we are going to talk about the catalytic activity of the transition metals so now let us understand this topic So friends, we understand that is the transition elements, they play a very vital role in performing as a catalyst. So for example, suppose if I'm talking about that is rhenium nickel. So rhenium nickel, that is the nickel is basically belonging to the 3D transition series and that's the reason it is a very good catalyst in hydrogenation of various other reactions like hydrogenation of alkene. So why does the 3D transition series or this transition elements are basically behaving like a good catalyst the reason behind is because of the structure because of the electronic configuration and various other reasons that they have a very good catalytic activity so for example whenever we are talking about a particular that is reagents for example suppose if i'm talking about a plus b and suppose if you are involving any kind of a catalyst and that is c so therefore in this case a and b are the reactants while C is nothing but the catalyst. So the catalyst, it would consist of the transition metal and or it, either it could be a complex also. So in that case, the catalyst, it binds with the reactants and that's the reason that binding will give us a complex and that is nothing but A, B, C complex. So the complex or the intermediate that has been formed over here is basically followed by a different path and based on this different path what happens is the activation energy it decreases and we understand that is the catalyst has a major role that is to decrease the activation energy and thereby increasing the rate of reaction but it also depends on the path also. So, so the catalyst has the activity to change the path also and that's the reason where we could get that is lower activation energy and that's the reason that because of that once the complex has been formed, this one could give us a different, that is products and those products would be free from the catalyst and that's the reason the catalyst gets removed out. And depending on that, we also understand that is the catalyst are of two types, that is homogeneous and heterogeneous. But here, basically, we are going to talk about the catalytic activity of the transition metals. So this is how basically the catalyst plays a very important role, not only by decreasing the activation energy, but also by changing the path where we could get a lower activation energy. And this is the role of the transition metals. So now let me discuss about what are the different catalysts that are basically the transition metals or the complex or the alloys that shows a different reaction. So here are the few examples that is what I'm going to talk about. That is for example, MnO2. So that is manganese dioxide. So in this case, this is used as a catalyst for the decomposition of KClO3 to O2. Okay, about the next one that is vanadium pentoxide that is V2O5. It is used in the contact process for the manufacturing of H2SO4. Okay, but the next one that is iron and molybdenum. So these are the two transition metals or the transition elements. In this case, the Fe is nothing but the 3D transition series element. So in that case, it is used in the manufacturing of NH3 by Haber's process. So talking about the next one that is cobalt and thallium, it is used or this alloy is used in the synthesis of gasoline by Fischer's process. So for this, where a certain examples where we have understood that is transition metals plays a very important role as a catalyst. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.